Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today I have a Trader Joe's haul for you. I feel like it's been forever since I went. I believe it's been almost a month since the last time I went. Um, but yeah, I went there. I got all the new stuff that I can find. Some of the stuff just came out this week and I was able to find it. So I'm really excited to try those items. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, we'll be doing a taste test video in a couple of days. So if you want to see what all the new items taste like, uh, stay tuned for that. And let's get into it. Okay, guys. So I just got back from Trader Joe's. My total for all of this was 127.10 which is pretty good. Um, that's where I try to stay. So um, I was actually surprised it was cheaper than I thought it was going to be. I picked up all the new items that I can find. So I'm going to show you everything that I got, including the prices. So they first off, they finally had this. My store has been out of it every time I go, at least for the last couple of months. But this is the beef and broccoli. It's mildly sweet and spicy. Um, I've only had this one other time and you guys, it was so good. It was right up there with the mandarin chicken. It might've been even better than the mandarin chicken. So I have been wanting it ever since then and they haven't had it, but this time we did have it. So I'm so excited to finally get this again. Those are the nutrition facts. And so it does contain soy and wheat. And then I put these in the air fryer. It comes with the sauce. It is just so easy and it is so good. Oh my gosh. So I'm really excited they had that. Um, I just bought the everything ciabatta rolls. It comes with four of these. These are really good. I used to buy these all the time. I like making sandwiches with these. And I still have some of that turkey that I got at Costco. Um, so yeah, I picked that up to make some sandwiches. And then I just got the um, teeny tiny avocados. It comes with six of these. These are perfect for avocado toast in the morning. If you get the bigger ones, um, I can never have like a whole one. So this is perfect. So then I just use one whole little teeny tiny avocado for my toast in the morning. So perfect. I got this organic pasta, the vegetable ratatouille. This is really good. Um, we really like this one. So we're gonna do that for dinner one night. I picked up their organic stone ground yellow corn taco shells. It comes with 12 of these. Um, I've never had them before, but my son really likes tacos. So just for an easy lunch for him, I figured I would get this for him. Those are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So it's actually pretty clean, not a whole lot of ingredients. I wish they would use better oil, but I mean, what can you do? So yeah, I just thought that would be perfect in the pantry for whenever he wants one, because the kid loves tacos. And then this obviously is a staple. This is so good. This is the vegetable bird's nest. It's tempura vegetables with soy dipping sauce. So it comes with the dipping sauce and the dipping sauce is really good. So definitely use it. This is vegan really good i've done a taste test with this one before and then i just picked up some organic mini flour tortillas it comes with 12 of these along with just the original corn tortillas that's a staple we get that every time and then for dinner one night we're going to do this so i picked up the organic italian four cheese tortellini it's um with organic romano mozzarella ricotta and parmesan cheese so uh, this is eight ounces, so I did pick up two because I didn't think that one of these was going to be enough for my whole family. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't that bad of a price either. And then I've gotten these once before a long time ago, Trader Joe's hash browns. And I remember not being like a big fan of them, but everybody says these are so good. So I'm going to give them another try. I'm going to cook them in the air fryer, and my son loves hash browns too. So... I will let him try this and then I'm gonna report back and let you know what I think of it. If it was just like, I don't know why, I just remember they weren't good, but I'm gonna give them one more try. So those are the nutrition facts. So it does have dextrose and of course, vegetable oil, unfortunately. And then I love Trader Joe's soy chorizo. So I picked up one of these and it's a really good deal as well too. It's vegan, it's gluten-free. Those are the ingredients and the nutrition facts. I like to make um, tacos with this, with the organic mini flour tortillas and some beans. You can even do some potatoes, just really easy. Um, just, I picked up the um, shredded three cheese blend. This is the organic one. It has mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and cheddar. So pick that up. Um, I've never tried this hummus before, but this one sounded so good. Have you guys tried this one? This is the three layer hummus. So it comes with traditional, cilantro, jalapeno, and spicy. So it's three different ones all in one container. Doesn't that look so good? I'm excited to try this one. Yeah, those are the nutrition facts on that. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna dip it. I think I'm gonna give this a try right after I'm done filming this and give that a try. 
Okay, so now on to the new items that are out. There's been a lot of new items. This one has actually been out for like a month or so, but I have never been able to get my hands on it and my store finally had some in stock. So I finally get to give it a try. This is the Organic Sparkling Lemon and Strawberry Apple Cider Vinegar Beverage. They do have one other flavor, but that one didn't sound like it was going to be good, so I didn't even want to try it. Um, but this one sounds like it'll be good. I love apple. Um, and apple cider vinegar has so many good health benefits to it. So, I mean, if I like this, that's a really good thing to drink. Those are the nutrition facts and those are the ingredients. So really good. And like I said, apple cider vinegar is so good for you. So I'm really curious to see how this one tastes. And then this is brand new. Um, these are just the pretzel bagels. I think they might've had them last year, but it's like a seasonal thing. I have never tried them before. So yeah, it just pretzel bagels, chewy, slightly salty with a traditional pretzel flavor. So yeah, that seems pretty interesting. So yeah, all the new stuff is going to be in the taste test video in a couple of days. So if you want to see what we think of this, um, just stay tuned for that video. This one's brand new. This is the New Zealand Salted Butter, and this is made from um, grass-fed cows. I hear New Zealand has amazing products, especially with the grass-fed cows. Normally, what we buy is the Kerrygold, which is also from grass-fed cows, so I'm curious to see how this compares. So I may do a taste test, like a blind taste test between this and Kerrygold, and let you guys know what we think and which one we like better. So I'm curious to see if this holds up or not. And then I just got one block of just regular cream cheese. This is brand new. This seems pretty interesting. This is dry shampoo with pro vitamin B5. So, hmm, let's open it up. Let's see what kind of like spray. So this seems like a very interesting, oh, okay, do you see that? That's the spray. Hmm, I'll have to give this a try and report back to you. Some brand new items. This is the blood orange cake mix with icing. I don't know how I feel about this. It, se it seems like it's gonna be kind of sweet. I don't know, but this will be in the taste test so you will know our full opinion um, in that video. Here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So this does have milk and wheat, and so not vegan or gluten-free, but we're gonna make this up and we'll let you know. This is brand new this week, and I'm excited about this one. This one is the organic banana fruit spread. My kids love banana, so I think they're really gonna like this one. Um, and those are the ingredients, some cane sugar. Um, yeah, but pretty clean. Refrigerate after opening, how much sugar? Seven grams of sugar, so not too bad. Um, we're gonna probably try this just on some toast. Um, I bet you this would be really good even in some yogurt or something like that. So I'm really excited to give this one a try in the taste test. And then this is not new. This is a staple. Everybody raves about this, but I have never tried this. I don't know why, because I love anything hot. This is the Italian Bomba hot pepper sauce, fermented crushed chili peppers. Mm, I hear really good things about this. So I think I'm going to put this in my pasta and give it a try. So I have high hopes that I'm going to like this one. And then this is another brand new item that just came out this week. This is the crispy, crunchy, spicy mochi rice nuggets. Try to say that five times fast. The guy at the checkout was talking to me and he said these were very spicy. He said these are like one of the spiciest things that Trader Joe's carries. And I was like, okay, well, I'll, we'll give it a try. I mean, we're going to let you know in the taste test what we think, but I love spicy. That's what I told him. I was like, oh, awesome. The spicier, the better, in my opinion. Um, but those are the nutrition facts and the ingredients, so may contain soy and wheat, so not gluten-free, but yeah, after he said they were really spicy, I am really excited to give these a try. And then I have never tried this before. Um, I hear a lot of people say it's pretty good, so this is the organic spicy taco sauce, a fiery tangy blend of peppers and spices. So I think I'm gonna try this on the tacos, the soy chorizo tacos, and I got this hot sauce to try on top of it. Let's look at the nutrition facts. Okay, yeah, not too bad. It does contain soy. So, curious about that. And these are brand new items as well, too. There are three different flavors. Um, they were all out of the peanut one. There's a peanut flavor. But these are, this one is the Thai noodles, and this is the garlic one. So these look really good. I believe you just microwave them. Um, those are the nutrition facts and the calories. So they have a garlic one, there's a peanut one, 
And then the last flavor that they have is the red curry one. This one is the one that I'm most excited about. This one looks like it'll be spicy. So we're gonna try both these flavors in the taste test. So we'll let you know what we think of them in that video. But definitely I'm excited about those ones. And then I believe this is new. You'll have to let me know, but I've never seen organic unbleached all-purpose flour before from Trader Joe's. And this was a really good price. I do buy organic unbleached flour. I got it at my local grocery store, Kroger, and it's like $5. It's like five something for a five pound bag. Um, but this one is a lot cheaper. I believe this was like three something. I'll have the prices on the screen. So if I like that, I mean, it's much cheaper here at Trader Joe's. So I was excited to see that. I haven't been, I haven't seen this since the holidays. And this is our favorite gluten-free um, buttermilk pancake mix. It beats out all the other ones. This one's our favorite. We like to make waffles with this. So those are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So yeah, all my kids, all of us really like it. And then we also replace the egg too. I do a flax egg instead. And so yeah, really good breakfast for the weekends for us. And then I heard this was new too. I mean, they've always had gluten-free flour, but they added um, xanthan gum to it, which is a necessity when you're doing gluten-free baking. So I thought I would give theirs a try. It was pretty good price. I mean, it's a smaller bag than I normally get. I normally do like to get a bigger bag, um, but I'm going to give it a try and see how it holds up to the other stuff that I've been using. But it is a one-to-one -one substitution. Those are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So I have never had these before, but you know me eating anything spicy. So these are the spicy cheese crunchies. Um, I used to love Flaming Hot Cheetos back in the day. We'll see how these hold up. I'm excited to see. Those are the nutrition facts. Okay, so it does contain milk and the nutrition facts. So we'll have to see what I think about these. I don't know. I've tried another brand of like healthier uh, Cheetos before, spicy ones, and I did not like them at all. So I'm kind of skeptical. I don't know if those ones are going to be any good, but we'll let you know. Um, let me know if you want to see those in the taste test or not. Um, and I'll put them in if you want to see them. My son was with me, so he picked out two snacks. He picked out the popcorn. Both him and my daughter love popcorn, and I like this one because it's organic. And it's made with extra virgin olive oil. Yep, so yeah, that's it. Really clean ingredient. And then the second snack that he picked out were these gluten-free pretzel twists. We've never gotten these ones before, so I'm curious um, how they are. So it does contain soy. There is, unfortunately, canola oil in that, and then the nutrition fat. So yeah, those are the two snacks that he picked out, the popcorn and the pretzels. And then over here is kind of like the staples that I buy all the time. If you guys watch my grocery hauls, you know I always get the everything but the bagel smoked salmon for my husband. Um, they finally had these back in stock. They didn't have them last month with just the organic refried pinto beans. We're going to do this with the soy chorizo tacos. Really good. I almost forgot to pick this up and my son was like, mom, don't forget my waffle. So these are his favorite, just the gluten-free waffles. I stock up on the gluten-free macaroni and cheese. Him and my daughter love this. And I try to only go to Trader Joe's once a month. Um, sometimes I go twice, but yeah, so pick that up. And then this is the vanilla almond cluster cereal. So I have another, I've had another um, cluster cereal from Trader Joe's vanilla. It's different packaging. I'm kind of confused. Is it the same cereal or is it different? I'm, oh, okay. So I think I do know what, I think the other one that I get is just the clusters. This one has like the corn flakes mixed in with the clusters. Okay, so I see the difference now. So we've never had this one before. Um, just the clusters is amazing. We love that one. So I'm sure this one will be just as good. Those are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So we'll have to give this a try. I'm sure it will be good. Okay guys, so yeah, that is everything that I got this time. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.